Hey everyone, this is Herrick bringing you another episode of Action Figure This Out. And today, we will be taking a look at the new Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive retro carded cell shaded Spider Man. Now, I wasn't able to pick this guy up off the Walmart website, so I actually had to grab him off of a good friend of mine, Daryl Sider in Canada. He's hooked me up with quite a few action figures over the past few years and has always been super legit and really solid. So if you happen to see him on the Facebook Marketplace, check out what he's got. Now before we get started, let's just take a quick look at the packaging. On the front, you're going to see it simply says Spider-Man with web splat over here. It's the classic retro carded backing we've seen with other figures this year. You can see the figure through the window with a few of his accessories. He has some web accessories and two extra pairs of hands. He comes with some wall crawling hands and some web shooting hands. On the back you're going to see that it simply says Spider-Man and in the fine print here there's a little bio for him. As well you can see that you can switch out his hands that come in the package over here. So let's action figure this out and take a look at this guy out of the packaging. Bitten by a radioactive spider, mild-mannered Peter Parker becomes the wall crawling, web slinging, amazing Spider-Man. So right away, I really like the cell shaded look that this figure has. It looks like it would match the cell shaded Venom that we got not too long ago. The body looks like it shares the same body as the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. He doesn't have any toe articulation, so that tells me that this isn't the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man. He has a diaphragm cut with a ball joint. As well, he also has a lower ab crunch. Just like the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. It comes with some web effects that you can use for your dioramas. I don't see any other place you could use these web effects. And he has one over here. As well, he comes with two extra pairs of hands. He has two wall crawling hands over here. And he has two web slinging hands. I really like the look of the Spider-Man. The eyes aren't too small or too big. This is reminiscent of the 90's cartoon Spider-Man. It has very vibrant colors. He has very clean line work when it comes to the webs on his body and it looks like this should have come with the two pack with Carnage. One thing that I noticed having him out of the packaging is that his eyes aren't really straight. His left eye is closer to the middle than the right. But aside from that, this is an amazing figure. So let's take a look at the articulation for this guy. So in his neck and head he has a hinge with a ball joint. Giving you the ability to look up this much, he can look all the way up. He can look down this much, touch his chin to his chest, he can look side to side no problem, and he has a tiny bit of tilt, not too much, just a slight bit. For his shoulders, he has a true butterfly joint, giving you the ability to go in and out like this, and he has a hinge in his shoulder, giving you 90 degrees forward no problem, back no problem, and he has a bicep cut giving you full 360 degrees rotation. He also has a double jointed pinless elbow. So he can go all the way up as you can see and in his wrist he has a hinge. So with a hinge you can go in and out no problem and you can rotate. For his diaphragm, he has a diaphragm cut with a ball joint giving you full rotation side to side. He can lean forward this much, he can lean back this much, and he can lean side to side. He has a lower ab crunch giving you the ability to look down, you can look all the way up, and together with that diaphragm cut, he can get quite a bit of motion out of it. In his hips, he has a ball joint, giving you full, almost 90 degrees. He can kick forward, well over 90. He can kick back, this much. 
and he has a thigh cut as well giving you full 360 degree motion when it comes down to rotation he has a double jointed pinless knee so that gives you the ability to kick his own ass as you can see he has a calf cut giving you full 360 degree motion and in his ankle he has a hinge allowing you to kick up this much kick back this much and he has a rocker so then he can rotate his foot like this as you can see so now that we've taken a full look at his articulation let's take a look at how he compares with other figures all right, so first we're gonna take a look and see how the cell shaded Spider-Man compares with the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man, which he shares the same body with, and the retro-carded Spider-Man. Okay, next we're gonna take a look and see how the cell shaded Spider-Man compares with the Marvel Legends Scarlet Spider and the Sensational Spider-Man from the retro card. All right, so now we're gonna take a look and see how the self-shaded Spider-Man compares with the Kraven 2-pack Symbiote Spider-Man and the retro-carded Symbiote Spider-Man. Okay, here we have the self-shaded Spider-Man standing next to the Mark I Armor Spider-Man from the retro card and the retro-carded Cyborg Spider-Man. All right, next we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the 2099 Spider-Man and the 2099 Armored Spider-Man. Okay, here we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the PS4, PS5, Miles Morales from the game Spider-Man Miles Morales and the GameStop exclusive clear version of that. Okay, here we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the Pizza Spider-Man and the Superposable Spider-Man from Spider-Man 2. Next we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the integrated suit from Spider-Man No Way Home and the regular suit from Spider-Man Far From Home. Alright, now we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the Future Foundation suit and the Iron Spider suit. Okay, next we have the self shaded Spider-Man standing next to the retro Iron Man from the 90s animated cartoon and the retro War Machine. Okay, here we have the self shaded Spider-Man standing next to the retro carded Shocker and Star-Lord from Thor Love and Thunder. Okay, now we have the self shaded Spider-Man standing next to Thor from the Avengers Endgame and the Herald of Galactus Thor. Okay, here we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the retro VHS Wolverine, which is also cell shaded, and the recent Wolverine from the Bonebreaker Wave. Okay, here we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the Walmart exclusive Captain America from Avengers Infinity War and the Captain America from Avengers Endgame. All right, now we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, and Captain America, John Walker. All right, here we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to Captain America from Avengers Endgame and US Asian. All right, next we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the Iron Man Mark V from Iron Man 2 and the War Machine Armor Mark 1. Okay, here we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the 80th anniversary Iron Man, Marvel Legends, and the Silver Centurion Iron Man. Alright, so next we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the Mapex, the Dark Knight, Batman, and the previews exclusive Mezco Hellboy. Alright, here we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the Mafex Venom and the Mafex comic version of Spider-Man. Alright, now we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the SH Figure Arts Vegeta and the SH Figure Arts Gogeta. 
Okay, here we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the Mark III Iron Man from the MCU and the Mark VI Iron Man from Avengers. Alright, next we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the McFarlane Tim Drake Robin and the McFarlane DC Rebirth Deathstroke. Okay, now we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the retro Marvel Legends Daredevil and the Marvel Legends Maverick. Okay, next we have the cell shaded Spider-Man standing next to the Obi-Wan Kenobi, the Wanderer Obi-Wan Kenobi, and the Obi-Wan Kenobi Darth Vader. So I think that should be about it for today. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Action Figure This Out where we took a look at the retro carded, cell shaded Spider-Man from the animated series. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews of your favorite action figures. As well, leave a comment. We'd love to have you around. Again, this is Herrick from Action Figure This Out, signing off.